allow me to tell this story of my late biological father. As a young man, he was working in the field with others. And one elderly man whom they worked together with got his pay at the end of the week as a laborer. And the money got lost. And here was my dad, a young man. He saw the money and took it. His friend said to him, it's free, it's free money, eat it. And he said, no, I will not. It belongs to somebody else. And he gave it to that man. And that man, crying, began to pray for him. And this generation, and I believe I'm one of the generation, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Hi guys, this is Emeka Anslem, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. I just want to say thank you for always coming back and back again to my channel to watch my content. I really hope that they've been a medium of great blessings to you. All right, let's get back to the video. Yeah. Be straightforward if you're in business. You are a driver, be straightforward. They send you to buy fuel for 50,000 naira. Don't put 35,000 in the vehicle and 15,000 fuel in your pocket. You know why many people will never have their own? They are touching what is not their own. What is not your own is a picture of what is your own. Admire it. Thank God for those who have it because your own is coming. Say loud, amen. amen. Government workers, stop stealing government money. Most people who do so end in shame. And you know what I'm talking about. Their news is everywhere. Don't touch what is not your own. Why? Your own is coming. Pastors, don't touch what belongs to church members. Don't cajole them. Don't use prophetic appearance on them. Yeah, the Lord is speaking to me right now. <clears throat> don't look in a way to intimidate members so they can give. There's no fight in this thing. We just teach you. You feel free to do what you want. I've never talked privately to anybody about Titan because you have had it in the church. There's no point telling you about Titan in my office. You've heard it in the church. Others heard it. If you want to do it, it's enough. What you heard in the church is enough. Business people don't deceive one another. You have done enough. You saw money coming and then the agreement is changing. Where are you heading for? Work in integrity. Work in integrity. Work in integrity. Somebody gets to an office and say, yeah, this is my chance. And then his ethnic people come and say, yeah, it's, it's our turn. That's what is killing Nigeria today. It's our turn. It's our turn. Government change with a new ethnic person, all the ethnic group, they come around. That's why we are where we are. It's our turn. Amen. Amen. Abraham said, I've lifted up my hands that I will not touch what is not mine. Genesis 14, 21 to 23. I will not touch what is mine. Integrity means cleanliness, openness. Get down the line. 22. I will not touch. Abraham said unto the king of Sodom. He was talking to a king who could give him everything. Verse 22. When you have opportunity to meet with people, don't, don't, don't bring your selfish interest. By God's grace, I have the privilege of meeting with several people, but I've never once asked for anything from any of them. I'd rather give to them. <laughs> we, went to an, we went for an occasion with an high-rated person, and we got there. I called him to one corner. I said, in case the money you brought finish, we have some here. That's how your father behaves. No, like, what will he give to me? They don't ask me what do you need because I don't even look needy in the first place. I have access by the grace of God to quite a number of places, but I will never ask for anything because that's not the reason we are there. We sit them down and tell them, 
God brought you here. We are with you. We are praying for you. Thank you very much. Shake it up. We are coming back home. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. I have lifted up my hands, Abraham said to the king, that I will not touch what is not mine. I will not. I have lifted up my hand unto the Lord, the most high God. He knew, he saw a high king, but he knew the most high God. He saw a king who possessed Sodom, but he had a God who possessed heaven and earth. I will not take from you a thread, even to the shoe latchet, and that I will not take anything that is not mine, that is thine, lest thou should say, I have made Abraham rich. And look at what happened, chapter 15, verse 1. After this experience, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision saying, Fear not, Abraham. That was a good decision you make. Now you rejected that from men. I am your shield and your exceeding great reward. I like that. That's what works when you are working in integrity. You may look like a fool not touching what is not yours. But God has a stock for you. If you touch what is not yours, God will not give to you what is yours. This is one of the reasons why people don't believe in our Christianity again. We are doing it, you are doing it. What's the difference between us? He said, give your life to Jesus. He said, when you stop stealing, I will give my life to Christ. Working in financial integrity. What about Isaac? They were covering the wells of Isaac. Genesis 26, 16 to 22. Isaac didn't mind them. He went moving forward until he came to a place called Rehoboth. A place of enlargement where nobody could trouble him. They came back to him and said, we saw that you are mightier than us. You see, integrity doesn't reduce you. It will increase you. What about Jacob? Genesis 30, 33. My righteousness will speak for me in time to come. Jacob. He will not touch what belonged to, to his father-in-law. My righteousness will speak for me. And when he sent his sons to Israel, I mean to, to Egypt, to go and buy bread, Jacob loaded back the money into the bag. And hear what Isaac said at Jacob. Chapter 43, 11 and 12. He said, take to the king some fruits, some spices. Go and present to him honey. He was not poor. Spices, myrrh, nuts, almonds. Those are rich men's fruit. And in the following verse, and take double money in your hand and the money that was brought again into the mouth of the sacks carry it again in your hand paraventure it was an oversight from the man on the other side don't touch what is not yours oh allow me to tell this story of my late biological father as a young man he was walking in the field with others and one elderly man whom they worked together with got his pay at the end of the week as a laborer. And the money got lost. And here was my dad, a young man. He saw the money and took it. His friend said to him, it's free. It's free money. Eat it. And he said, no, I will not. It belongs to somebody else. And he gave it to that man. And that man, crying, began to pray for him. And this generation, and I believe I'm one of the generation. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. The generation of the upright. Parents, don't teach your children magu magu magu. Don't. If they come to the house with something that is not theirs, tell them, take it back. You won't sleep in this house with this thing. Including pencil. Including pencil. Where did you get this pencil from? Some say you are too, you are too hard. Be hard today so that they can fly tomorrow. Precious mothers, you see your daughter not working, or you know where she's working and the salary they pay and coming home with different things. And you are singing. Everybody come, oh this God, now I 
he good oh, he kind oh, he give my picking chop, he made my wife. Oh. <laughs> Amen. Beware. Why if you see your husband coming on with different cars? Don't challenge him, don't query him, but ask him with style. Ask him with style. Oh God, we thank God for this new car. Oh. Make you share the testimony with me now. If testimony no day share, <laughs> make you go, go, go pray. Oh. Because the day they go catch him, they go lock you up too. Let's walk in integrity. Say loud, amen. It has worked for us. I've never taught church money in my life. It's working. You don't have to steal to make it. I don't know counting room. That's not my office. Where I'm standing is my office. The word and prayer. Somebody says, if, if it's as serious as this, how are we going to make it? Somebody asked Jesus that question. And Jesus answered, with God, all things are possible. Job never touched what is not his own. 